videos of all this. Um, so that was really nice. So if you ever have any questions on how to get the recorded version of this, um, I'm sure she's okay with you just reaching out to her and um, we might do another one so that you can kind of see exactly step by step how to do it. So I know Susan um, was there the other day and hopefully she was able to get to them um, uh, last week. So um, it's an easy process, but it's hard if you haven't done it before. So once you do it though, one and done, you're good. Um, okay, so today, well, oh, so I use water bottles for my um, equipment. Uh, it's whatever you need. Oops, I'm out. What happened? Okay, sorry, I'm starting my video again. Yay! <laughs> okay. So, can you hear me and stuff? You're good? We're good? Okay. Now you can see me and hear me. Um, all right, so um, anytime you have a question, just unmute yourself, ask me whatever you need, and then remute. Perfect. If something's weird going on, just let me know. Um, so you need dumbbells and you need a dish towel today. You don't have to have these. I use a sand-filled water bottle. I would use lower weights because we're doing cardio. Usually I don't even use dumbbells, but today I wanted to add them just for extra um, workout. So again, you don't have to use it. Nothing more than like a two pound weight if you are. Uh, maybe even one pound. Like I said, you don't have to use um, anything. Water bottle if you want. Um, and a towel, this goes around your neck. I like it because it supports the cervical spine when we're doing sit-ups. And guess what? Huh, we're doing sit-ups. So I spoiled the surprise. Um, and then if anybody's doing my class on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which is, um, what is it? Strength and, no, <laughs> balance, my balance class. I'm using balls, so squishy balls. So if you're gonna do that Wednesday class and you don't have a ball about this size, like you know, a playground ball, you can go to like five below or the dollar store even has them. Just a, oh no, you know what? No, the dollar store only has the small ones. Um, five below or Target or whatever, Myers has them. Just the, the kids balls, you know, the playground balls. Something squishy, cause we're gonna put them between our legs and we're gonna squish and we're gonna use our fingers and all that so um but that's not for this class all right let's get started i am talking too much all right um cardio are you guys ready yes i am okay <laughs> all right let's start warming up let's start marching shoulders back and down draw the belly button in open up that chest north south east and west set yourself up for the rest of the class right now that's what the warm-up is for get those knees up we're just doing simple moves so we can concentrate on our form get that blood flowing working those shoulders working the back working the hips and the knees and the toes like everything in unison give me four more and we're gonna go into a kick. So, little bit of balance. Last one, ready? Bring it to a kick, extend that arm, opposite arm, opposite leg, kick it out. So, what are we doing? Hamstrings right now. Stretching those hamstrings a little bit. That toe is natural. I want you to go to a flex. Flex that foot, toes back. So that's a flex, those toes come back reaching for those fingertips. Don't cross the midline. So you're bringing those fingertips out, not across, right? Yeah, out. So two more. One more, we're gonna bring it to a wide kick. Go, wide kick. What? Open up those hips. Doesn't matter how high you kick. Making sure you don't kick the dog that, you know, is definitely walking up to you because he thinks you're going to get cookies. <laughs> give, me, give me four more. Open up that chest. Don't 
cave in on me, right? Two more. One more. And then we're gonna kick back, kicking it back. Open up that chest, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, kick back. So if you want, you can reach. I like that opposite arm reach, but it's up to you. Opening up that chest, don't arch the back. These are the little things that make a huge difference. If I'm arching, right, this is what I'm looking at. Bad, that puts so much stress on my back. So I wanna reach, open up that chest, draw that belly button in and pelvic tilt into a neutral position. Give me two more, one more. Now let's bring it wide, wide kick. Go, wide kick, wide kick. Open up that chest, press through that heel. You wanna kick through the heel, right? Concentrating not on the toes, but those heels. Open up that chest a little bit more. <sighs> Making sure it feels okay in the hips and the back. You got this. Give me three more. <sighs> Two more. And march it out. We're gonna go to a reach turn. So bring it out and in. We've done this before. This is one of my favorites because we do this all day, right? We do all, you know, we're always turning. You gotta pivot. Give me that pivot. I want that pivot so you're not putting stress. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> On um, that knee. So you get in the habit of not, look at the difference. Ah, bad. See, I didn't pivot on that one. So pivot. Practice this one. You go on that heel, that toe comes up, and now no stress on that knee. Simple things make a difference. Woo! Give me two more. One more. March it out, give me that kick forward. We're gonna go fours. Three, two, we're starting from the top. And one, go wide, go. Bring it, Oop. open up that chest, draw the belly button in, give me three more. Two more, one more, kick it back, go. Bring it four, three, or you're here, two, Bring it wide, go, wide. Three more, two more, one more. March it out and pivot, go, four. Three. Two. And one, nicely done. March it out and slowly hinge at the hips. I'm gonna show you sideways. Hinge at the hips, bring it down, bend those knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time, roll those shoulders. So all these next exercises, I'm obviously gonna do core and I'm gonna do cardio coming up. Hinge at the hips. They can all be done in a chair. Uh, with a chair or by a counter for balance. One more time, hinge at the hips, flat back down, bend those knees, roll up, one vertebrae at a time, roll those shoulders, you are awesome. All right, so only if you want, if anybody just joined us, which I see they did, um, light weights or no weights. We're doing cardio with very light weights if you want, only if you want. And you're gonna need a, a towel, like a hand towel, a dish towel, actually. Um, that's perfect length. Um, okay, so grab your dumbbells only if you want. You don't have to, this is just for extra strength weight. So this is a good exercise without anything. Shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, contract those abs. We're gonna go skaters. So you see how 
I reach for my foot and I put my other toe out. I'm pivoting a little bit. There's a lot going on here. So watch those knees. Maybe you're here, right? So lots of options. Take what you need for um, the best option for your knees and um, your back because you're doing a lot here. All right, give me four more. Three more. Two more. Bring it down and bring it down and up and down and up. Give me four more. No, sorry, three more. This was not it. I knew it wasn't. Two more. Last one. Bring it to the side. So side and down. Bring it up and down. Bring it up and down. There you go. Shoulders back. This is what it was supposed to be. I kind of got a little ahead of myself. Give me four more and then we're going to switch to the other side. Come on. Draw the belly button in. Open up that chest. Two more. You got this. We're going to switch. Ready, go. Up and then down. And up and down. You can use one dumbbell if you want, right? Or no dumbbells. It's up to you. But see how I'm fully turning. Look at those knees. Those knees are pointed forward. They're not out. See that heel pop up? Last one, I'm gonna grab this. Down, draw the belly button in. Contract those abs, you now we're going down and up and down. And do a squat, I'm gonna go sideways. Squeeze that glute. You can pop those heels up, down lift it if you want. Watch your uh, vision. So see how I'm looking forward, not down? The whole time, don't arch the back. You go to your range. Those knees should not be over the front toe. You got three more. Woo, lift the heels only if you want. Two more. One more. You know I'm gonna pulse, it's my favorite. Seven, six, five, give me that pulse. Get low if you want. Two and one. Let's go back to skaters. Ooh, maybe you want to put those dumbbells down. It's totally up to you. So you're reaching. See how my whole body turned. Don't put stress on those knees. Modify. Maybe you're upright. Go in here, right? So your choice. Two more. One more, go straight to those high lows. Go up and down, up and down, up and down. Give me four more, you got this. Woo, whole body is turning. So much pivoting goes on during the day. I like to put it in your workout. Give me two more, one more. Woo, bring it up, down, and up. Woo, open up that chest, keep it open. You want those shoulders back and down? You're not wearing them as earrings. No, give me four more, I think. Woo, I'm feeling this. Three, my heart rate is up. Hopefully yours is two in a good way. Last one, and then we're going to those squats because they're fun. Go down, and toes are back, or toes are up, forward, heels down, push through the heels, maybe lift. Only if you want, lift those heels only if you want. Give me four more. <laughs> and three more. Remember, don't go where those knees are over those toes. It's like you're sitting in a chair. Press through those heels, lift them up if you want. Last one, bring it down. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out. Maybe grab some water if you want. You got one more set from the top. It's up to you. Go, skaters. Woo! Open up. Okay, so you know what's happening. We're at the top of that last set. Shoulders are open. Back and down. Chest is open. Nice and free. Uh, pelvis, neutral. Knees are not stressed because we're pivoting. We are on this, like white on rice. Three more. Two more. One more. Bring it up. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, and down. Bring it up and down. Bring it up and down. See how you need low weights? Nothing more than a two. Ooh, I mean, I think I got one pounders and it's kicking my butt. Truly. Give me four more. Come on, you got this. Ooh, three more. Two more and then we're gonna switch. Get ready for it. And switch it out. Down, bring it up. Six more, you got it. You don't have to lift over your head. It's up to you, keep those elbows here. Totally up to you. What you wanna do, make it your own. It's not cheating, it's modifying. Cheating is popping popcorn and watching this. That's cheating. <laughs> Although that sounds lovely. Two more. <laughs> One more. Get ready for those squats. Come on, bring it up. And down. Up. Ooh. Press through those heels. If your toes are out, you're probably going too low. So make sure, hey, check out those feet. What are they doing? Four more. Maybe you're popping up from off those heels, your choice. Two more, one more, my favorite, give me a pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, grab some water if you want. We are moving on to the next set that involves jacks. So, shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in. Like I said, grab water if you want, take a breather if you want, just sit out for a little bit. It's your choice, but don't sit, walk around. Jacks are here, right? Or here, but this is impact. So no impact here. So anytime I'm doing this, you would do this. I'll show you both ways. It's the same exercise. I don't want you to think I'm doing something different, you know, and follow along. So, all right, so that's the jacks. I just wanted to show you that. So we got eight jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it out. Boom. So your choice, you can bring this here. Bring this here or keep it right here. It's up to you. Or you can go low. I don't care what you do with that other arm. It's more about balance. Give me four more. Three. Pull in. Two. Snap it out. One. Other side. Draw the belly button and contract those abs. Boom. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, your range of motion, right? That hip says no, don't do it. Last one, go, lunge it out, eight. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Switching legs every time. Switch those legs. 
open up the chest. You go your range. Maybe it's a step out right here. It depends. Whatever you need. Switch those legs every time. Pull back, shoulders back and down on this one. Shoulders back and down. You can be here if you want. I don't care. As long as those shoulders are back and down. So you're either pulling back or you're opening cupboards. It's up to you. I like to give options. Options are good because then it works for everybody. Woo, so when I'm designing these, these moves, I'm thinking, okay, can everybody do this? Yes, so no one has an excuse. <laughs> so step out, you're in a chair and you're lifting the knee, like whatever you need to do. Two more, but shoulders back and down. One more. Guess what? We're doing a pulse on this one. Ready? Go. Eight, seven. Get that knee down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From the top, let's go. Jacks out and in. You're here. Or you're here. Cool. Your choice. I give you choices. You don't have to have the dumbbells either, right? That's another choice. So there you go. Six. Five. You can go faster. Like this. Your choice. Boom. Boom. Your, whatever it works for you. Give me two more. One more. Give me those kicks. Draw the belly button in. Don't lock this knee. Contract those abs. Soft knee. Boom. Boom. Give me five, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go. Switch it out. Go eight, seven, six. Five, four, unlock this knee, go your hip width, not anybody, because the hip's gonna say no, right? So listen to that hip. Two more, one more, give me that lunge, go, bring it in. Every time, switching that leg. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. We have seven more, seven. Heel comes up on the back, right? Don't bring that toe out on the back. That heel pops up in a lunge. Um, you don't have to do a lunge. You can do a step out. Give me four more. Ooh. Three more, come on. This feels so good. Two more. I'm loving it. I woke up this morning and I was like, ooh, my back hurts. And I stretched, and now I'm feeling amazing. Last one. Let's go to that pulse. Ready, set, go. Boom. Eight, seven, six, get low. Five, four, three, two, and switch it out. Go. Get low, get low, get low. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, we got one more set from the top. Go, jacks. Boom, and in, boom, and in. Or you're here. Give me jacks or get some water. We're on the third set, last set. Yay. Right? <laughs> you know you're saying yay. <laughs> Give me four more. Four. Or you're stepping out. Two more. One more, bring it out and kick and down, kick and down. Or your straight shoulders, set them, set those shoulders. You got this. Make sure that knee is bent. You got four more. Pull in and push out. Three more, 
Two more. Watch the back. One more. And switch. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. If you feel this in your back, you're going too high. Go lower. Even if that leg says this, I'm fine. Listen to the back. Bend this knee. One more. Woo! And lunge it out. Go. Eight. Seven. Release the grip on this. If you got those dumbbells, release it a little bit. You got five more. Go. Five. Four. Breathe it out. Don't hold that breath. Make sure you're breathing through your nose, out your mouth. Three more. Three. Go your pace. And one. We're going to go for that pulse. Go eight, seven, get low, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out. Roll those shoulders. Woo! Guess what we're doing? Grab some water. We're going to combine that whole thing. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> so we're going to start with those skaters. So we're really from the top, the top of that first step. Go. Get, oh, skaters. Sorry. Eight. Seven. Right? This is the top of the top of this first set. Five more. Four. Three. We're just going one round. Two. And one. Give me those highs. High and low. Boom. Seven. Five more. <laughs> three and then we're gonna switch to the other side so get ready for it two more one more switch it out go down low up high now your choice you can really get down up and high you can go here you can get rid of those dumbbells making sure you're going a nice smooth if you're choppy, you can really hurt your back. So go your range. I like to go slower. I don't go too fast. You still get that heart rate up. Two more. And if you're faster, that's fine. You do you. Last one. Shoulders back, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, up, squat it out. Squat it out. You're sitting in a chair or you're picking something up off the floor, right? You don't have to reach the floor, but all my moves have a purpose. We're not willy-nilly here. <laughs> We're purposeful. So you do this all day long, right? Push through those heels. Hinge at the hips. Flat back. Don't round those shoulders off. We want some good moves here. Three more. Woo, two more. Then we got that pulse. One more. Did I say that already? Go, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Jacks are next. Go. Jacks here or here. Seven, six. This is impact go, so be careful. Five, four. Three, two, ready for that leg in one, leg kick out, go, out and in, out and in. Hopefully you got a lot of room today because we're using our space. Four, bend this knee right here, this is bent. Two more, one more, switch those legs, go, bring it out. Eight, seven, bend this knee. 
five. Your range, maybe you kick higher on one side, but not on the other. That's okay. That's your body. Listen to it. Two more. One more. Woo, lunge it. Come on, pull. Pull those shoulder blades back and down. Like I have hit every possible scenario on your body. We have worked the shoulders, down to the calves, right? Even the cervical spine. Right now, it's quads, little hamstring, definitely glutes, little calf, like full body here, upper body, shoulders, rhomboids are in the back, little uh, terrace major, your pecs, oh, your pecs are getting stretched right here as you're coming back. So much is happening. So listen to your body because something along the line is gonna go, no, you need to modify. So listen, give me three more. Woo! Two more. Pop that heel up. That heel and back is popping up. Last one. Shoulders back and down. Open up the chest and give me that pulse. Eight, seven, six. Knee is not um, in front of the toe. Two and one, switch it out, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, grab some water. Get rid of your dumbbells, you don't need them. Ooh. Shake it out, I love this one, okay? So you're just here, get rid of those dumbbells, and then just shake it out. You can step side to side. Oh, doesn't that feel good? It's just like all the blood just goes, yes, down to the fingertips. You wiggle, you can swing them, you can just hang them. It's up to you. Then round your back a little bit more. Bring it to your shoulders. Instead of a hinge, you're rounded. Shake it out. You got it. You can cross it. It's up to you. So we're just winding it down now. All right, big arms, nice and slow. Cross it out if you want. Three more, two more, one more. All right, dangle it down. Dangle, 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 dangle. Ooh. Pressing through those heels. Shake it out, wiggle those fingers. Start to swing if you want. Side to side if you want. But that should feel really good from the shoulders. So the fingertips round your shoulders now. So you're rounding down them a little bit more. And then you're crossing it out. That's what I like right here. Yes. So we just slowed it down because we need to get to the floor and do core work. But you gotta get that heart rate down. We just did a 20, no, 30 minutes, 30 minutes of cardio. Dang. No, I think it was at eight. So we did like 28 minutes of cardio. My goal was 25, so you surpassed my goals. Thank you. <laughs> it's 20. All right, so now just give me a little bit of a knee pull. We're just slowing that heart rate down, so I don't want like crazy, because we got to get on the floor, or you're going to get in a chair. Totally up to you. Just make sure it's not a folding chair, if you're going to use the chair. We're going to do planks. So if you do wall planks, do wall planks. We're going to do um, crunches. You can do them in a chair if you don't want to get down on the floor. So we're doing other stuff, but the planks and the crunches you need to know in case you need to modify chair, wall, or floor. Okay, so check it. You good? We're good to go on the floor. If you're not, you're gonna keep walking around a little bit and just join us when you can. You're gonna take a towel, cause I need to wipe. 
<laughs> um, don't put this back in the drawer. <laughs> um, you're gonna get down to the floor to do your plank, or we're gonna do it here, we're gonna do it here. This is core now, no cardio. I mean, your heart rate's up a little bit and it's gonna stay up a little bit, but you're gonna get on the floor. So grab your mat. Um, how do I get on the floor? Boom, nice and slow. You should be on a mat to um, keep your knees nice and safe. And then you're here, and then here. Or if you're on carpet and it's cushy enough, that's fine. You can grab a pillow if you want, it's up to you. But you're gonna go on your um, belly first, so you're here. Or you're on that chair, right? Oh, you know what? Keep going, you're on the floor. I'm just gonna tilt this, because we're gonna be on the floor. So, might as well be able to see me a little bit better. All right, so you're here. First, we're gonna stretch. This is really good for back pain. I did this this morning before I got out of bed. Shoulders back and down. Don't look up, look straight across. And you're gonna go, this is even, this is flat. You're gonna go into a nice stretch. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you come off those elbows. You should feel a stretch here. If you're real tight here, you'll feel it here. But stop when you feel a stretch, because that's all it is. Keep the hips on the floor, come down. Take a breath. Relax it out one more time. Shoulders back and down. Come up till you feel a stretch. Maybe you're here, maybe you're here. Just depends on what your back says yes to. Relax into it. It's not an exercise, it's a stretch. So really just be like relaxing into those hips. It's making sure the hips are touching the floor. Toes are on the floor, you're real relaxed. All right, come down and take a breath. Good, all right, now we're gonna do a plank. So, we're gonna go to the knees. So the fatty part of the knee, I'm gonna show you this because we're gonna do three sets of this. Shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, squeeze the glutes and come up. Make sure those elbows are even with those shoulders. Or you can do hands, straight arms. It's up to you. Or you can go straight to your toes. But I like the fatty part above the knee because you really can't cheat. Those shoulders should be back and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out, good. Take a breath here. Maybe you stay here. I'm gonna show you um, a full plank, okay? And again, you're here or you're on the wall, right? Okay. So, shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in. Really pull that belly button in. You're not using your shoulders. It's all about the belly on this. Toes down, only if you're doing your feet and lift. So, relax those shoulders back and down. Open up that chest. Think about um, something else because it's painful. Open up that chest a little bit more. Shoulders back and down. Don't wear those earrings. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, relax. We got one more, so your choice. Here or full body. I had a plank challenge this weekend. It was 18 year olds to 33 year olds. I beat everyone except a girl that was pregnant. So not only did I get beat by um, a girl, I got beat by a girl and a baby because she was pregnant. So I'm like, okay with that though. <laughs> she was a gymnast. She was amazing. But yeah, I lost the plank challenge. So are we ready? Go. Draw the belly button, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. Really, make sure those shoulders are back and down. So that's, that's my story for the weekend. A baby beat me at a plank. <laughs> 
Draw that belly button a little bit more. Shoulders back and down a little bit more. Come on, you got this. Really squeeze that belly up and into that rib cage because that's what it's about. Relax those shoulders even more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Relax it out. Maybe you want to get into one of these. It's totally up to you, whatever feels good. But we're gonna flip on our back, be gentle, because you just use your ass. You're gonna flip, and now you're here. Take your towel, Woo. you're here. Put your towel behind your neck. So now you got a little support system, right? You don't have to but it's just so gentle. I love this. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. We're gonna do a mini crunch, so pull in. That is it. Do you see the difference from the old fashioned, like full on crunches? You just open that chest, keep that chest open, shoulders back and down. Don't curl your back. You're pulling towards the ceiling, not your knees. Pull towards the ceiling. Ooh. Think about the abs. Give me four more, and then we're gonna do a pulse. Three more, really draw that belly button in a little bit more. Two more, you should feel this in the abs, not the neck. If you feel the neck, modify. Last one, and then crunch, eight. Seven, six, five, pulsing it out. Three, two, one, relax it out. Bring those knees in. If you're in a chair, you're just curling down instead, right? So your choice, but you really got to pull from the belly. All right, round two, ready? Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, pull eight. Seven, you're pulling towards the ceiling. This is really supporting that neck, right? I mean, you can be here. I don't care what you do. You can be here if that feels better. It's totally up to you, but I don't want stress here. I want it here. Give me four more. Woo, three, two, and one. Now pause, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. It's such a little move. And with that towel, it just makes such a difference. It takes that cervical spine out because it's not about the neck. I mean, the neck is assisting for sure. It's not supposed to, um, you shouldn't feel it at all, but it is involved, but it's the abs that's working. All right, ready, let's go. Eight. Draw that belly button in a little bit more. Seven. Squeeze those glutes. Pull in through the tummy. Five more. Ooh, four more. Three. Two. And pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Bring those knees up. Well done. All right, we're gonna come up off the ground and sit up. So this is a system called CARS, um, C-A-R-S. So we're isolating. If you need to sit up in a, on a block, underneath, that's fine. If you feel any pain in your spine by doing it this way, then you need to modify it. You can also do it in a chair. Okay, so you're drawing the belly button in, contract the abs, squeeze the glutes, really set up. Get off that tailbone. You cannot be here. You gotta be here. Contract the abs. You can bend the knees if you want. Contracting the abs, you're gonna put those you're gonna put those arms out or you're here for support. So you can modify and you're gonna bring it up 
like there's a block there or a ball. Draw the belly button in, contract the abs. Other side, up and over. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs. Okay, I'm gonna show you a different position. Keep going, keep going. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes. You're not leaning back, right? You're not on your tailbone, you're on your sits bone, the bony part of your butt. You're lifting as high as you want. Maybe you're sliding. Maybe that's enough, right? Maybe you're here. That's fine. You're using the quads, you're using the glutes, you're using the abs. This is all core. Oh, squeeze that butt a little bit more. That butt is helping you. If you're not activating your glutes, then you're activating your back. You don't want your back activated. Ooh, I was leaning. Give me four more. You got this. Lift as high as you want. Ooh, maybe one side is easier. My right side is way easier than my left side. Two more. Up and over. Bend those knees as much as you need to. If you feel it in the back, stop what you're doing or modify. One more. Bring it up, over, up, and over. Ah, oh, bring it in. Give it a little hug. Woo! Nicely done. Nicely done. Well done. All right, we got one more. You're going to bring it here and we're gonna do a quadruped. You're right here. I want a nice flat back. So first, give me a nice tabletop. I'm gonna move back a little bit there. I feel like that's better. Okay, so give me a nice tabletop. Draw the belly button in. Contract the ass, squeeze the glutes. Open up that chest. You're gonna go right. Maybe this is all you're doing. That's fine. Maybe you're here too. It's up to you. Draw that belly button in, contract those abs and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in and rest. Maybe you wanna take this towel and put it under your knees. It's totally up to you. All right, draw the belly button in, tabletop. Setup is really important. And other arm and other leg. So it's opposite. I don't know if you can see that. So I got my right leg and my left arm. Seven, six, draw that belly button a little bit more. Five, four, looking down, not up. Three, two, and one, bring it in, second set. Draw the belly button in, tabletop, contract those abs, opposite arm, opposite leg, squeeze that left glute. Shoulders back and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, switch it out. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, Squeeze those glutes, thumbs up, eight, seven, six, five, pull that tummy in more, four, three, two, and one, bring it in, very good, awesome, Whew. nicely done, let's stretch it out, all right, so you're on your side, you're here. You can do crisscross if you want, whatever's comfortable, or you can sit in a chair. It's up to you. So here we are. Let's do the neck. Shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, right? Pull them in. You're off your tailbone, no tailbone. You're gonna bring that ear towards your shoulder, but we're gonna add to this one. So you're gonna take that hand, you're gonna gently put it on your head, and this is such a gentle pull, just gentle. 
just till you feel a bigger stretch here. If you feel some pinching here, retract. So that's where you wanna be. All right, tip your head back a little bit. Take a breath. Slowly bring the arm down. Look down towards the ground. Yet yeah, ear is still close to that shoulder. Try and keep it even. Now bring that arm up and look forward. Take another breath. Bring it in, elbow down, and again, bring it up and over. This time you're leaning. So you're getting a little deeper into it and you're getting more back rather than cervical spine, rather than your neck. Bring it in and you're gonna go a little bit deeper. If you're in the chair, don't go so much that you're tippy. And you're here. Nicely done. Take a breath. Now your legs can be out too. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, we're gonna do the other side. So, ear to shoulder. Lift this ear up towards the ceiling. Keep these shoulders nice and even. Take that hand, bring it up. And gentle, 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 gentle. Tipping that ear up gives you a bigger stretch. All right, take a breath, bring it down. Look towards the floor. And then look out and bring that arm over. But you're still reaching that ear up towards the ceiling. So this is still neck. Bring that elbow down. Now you're gonna bring it more to the back and reach. Nice, 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 nice. So you're kind of reaching for the ceiling, but maybe like the corner of the room, you're kind of like reaching halfway. And then bring it down. Now you're gonna really get as deep as you can into it. And now it's all back. No neck at all, it's all back. Unless your neck is really tight, you might feel it. And you're as deep as you want. But keep those shoulders kind of like over the hip. Don't turn. You want it open, chest open. All right, relax it out. Nicely done. Roll those shoulders. And you're gonna reach back. So I'm gonna go sideways. You're gonna reach back. Again, you can be here, you can be wherever. If you're in the chair, you're reaching behind the chair, okay? So open, take the shoulder, bring it back but don't twist the spine. It's all about still the neck and the shoulder. And then look behind you, and then look to the other side. So you go in opposite corners, right? You're looking at this corner, now you're looking behind you. So it's almost like you're looking behind you both ways. Shoulder back and down. Get that shoulder back and down. Bend that elbow if you need to. One more. Nice. Bring it in. Other side. So now you're taking the hand back. Shoulder back and down. See how I rotate back and down? Set yourself up. Maybe you feel a stretch already. Good. Look behind you. And then look behind you the other way. Doesn't matter how far you get into it, it's just about the stretch. All right, shoulder back and down, make sure it stays there. Look behind you. Don't arch the back, nice flat back. Keep that chest open. And then look behind you. And then one more time, look behind you. And look behind you. Well done. Did you feel that? You went like all through here. 
All right, you can stand for this one. You can be in the chair, you can be on the floor. We're doing upper body. So it doesn't matter where you're at, be comfortable. I'm gonna show you um, sideways. Shoulders back and down, you're gonna open up that chest and just kind of lift. If you're in a chair with a high back and it's wide, this one might be hard. If not, you can just like reverse hug the chair. I just made that up, reverse hug. I like that, it's to the point. I mean, you knew exactly what I meant. Four, three, two, and one. Now hug a tree. So see how my arms are open, right? You're hugging a tree. Bring it back behind you. Bring it up behind you. You can like hold a, a broomstick, you know, like it's up to you. You're here or you're here. Totally up to you. It's your choice. Just a nice stretch. Bring it up. You're here holding a broomstick or you're here. Whatever feels like a really good stretch to you. All right, bring it down. All right, now we're gonna lay down. Ooh. And you're gonna bring those knees to your chest. And then extend the right leg. Keeping that left knee at your chest, nice stretch. Lift up and give me a nice hamstring stretch. So you should feel that from here to here. If you feel in your calf and you're this way, bend that knee a little bit and get that, that hamstring stretch. Now try and straighten that leg, flex that foot. Now you'll feel it in the calf. So that's a calf but it's not tight. Relax it and you want to stretch, not strengthen. So there's that difference. All right, bend that knee, give it a little hug. Bring this foot up. Be careful how you do this because you can put stress on the back and then slowly bring those knees in and then extend the left leg Nice little stretch. And then lift up your choice how much you want to go in. But you're bending that knee. That knee is slight bend. It's slight. So you feel it in the hamstring from the knee down. Now bend the knee. I mean, straighten the knee and flex the foot. So now you're going to feel it from the knee up, right? That's that calf stretch everybody needs. Take a breath, bring that knee in. Slide that foot in, give it a hug, give me poor man's massage. Big circle, just relax that back. Take a couple breaths, other direction. Nice. Bring those feet to the floor. Give me a nice little breath here. Hand on your heart, hand on your stomach. Three cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice and relaxed, thinking about the muscles, relaxing, your breath, relaxing, your joints, being mindful of where maybe you need to stretch a little bit more. Nicely done. So slowly, Come to the side when you're ready and slowly come off the ground. 
and then very carefully, if you want, you can get up. It's your choice. <laughs> I hope you had fun. I had so much fun. I love this class. I'm like, I love the cardio. How'd that feel? So this was Susan's first time. Yeah, oh, she's smiling. <laughs> and Aggie, she's always smiling. So I'm going to say Aggie had fun because she's always got a smile. <laughs> Only once a week. <laughs> good way to start the week. What? It's a good way to start the week. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, they say tequila is a good way to start the week, too, but you know. <laughs> I don't actually drink. Lisa, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a good way to end the week. Oh, there you go. <laughs> start and. But I like cardio, so. <laughs> yeah, you guys noticed that Lisa doesn't have exercise programs on Friday, so now we know why. That's Tequila Friday. <laughs> <laughs> tequila Friday! <laughs> That's a whole nother class. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, great job, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 9. Um, that'll be fantastic. <laughs> Susanna! All right. Everybody have fun. a great day. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Good. My heart to yours. Woo! You guys are awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you, Melody, Aggie, Marianne, Candace, Susanna, Suzanne, and Stretch. <laughs> Thanks for your energy, Lisa. Thank, Thank you. you.